Just imagine if you guys can put on any dress on any person in the world. Yes, it's possible right now. And today I'm going to share exactly how to achieve this. And believe me, this is very simple. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So this is called VShop AI. So this is their website. You will find the link in the description below. And if I scroll down, you guys can see they have also worked with some major companies with some major brands like the Etsy, eBay, Amazon, Shopify. So that's enough to get the idea that this is a trusted platform. Now to access this one, just click on this try for free and sign up with your Google account. Once done, you will have this interface in front of you. Well, this AI tool offers you a lot of features like the mannequin, model, products, toy, children and replicant, upscale, image to image, text to image. But today we only gonna talk about their two major features like the mannequin and model feature. So click on the models. So here you can see I have already tried few images. So simply click on this new task and now upload your reference image. So let's say I want to wear the exact same dress of this lady. So this is our source image. This is our main image. Then click on the edit button. And now we have to select the area that we want to keep in our image. So I will select only the dress and the AI will automatically make a selection of this one. So you don't have to do it manually. So just make a precise selection and here we have a couple of more options. You can undo things. If you get something wrong, you can invert this one. Like this will uh, select the background instead of uh, clothes. Then we have the in painting option. So if there is something that is not selected by the AI, you can do it manually, right? Once done, hit complete. And next we have three different options. We have the text description, we have the templates and we have prompt. So let's discuss the text description first. So here you have to type the prompt. These are a few examples like a girl wearing a fluorescent dress walking on a Tokyo street. And these are a couple of more examples just to give you the idea how your prompt should be. Then we have the templates option. So inside of the template option, these are some pre-generated models. You can select pre-generated models and then you can even select the locations. These are pre-generated locations. If you want to go with this one, it all depends on you. And at the last, we have the prompt option. So let's give it a prompt like a British woman walking on a street. Well, this is a very simple prompt, but let's describe the things in a detail. Like a British woman with blonde hairs walking on a city street. Now we describe the appearance of our main character and also the location. So if you want to add the negative prompt, it all depends on you, but I don't want to add any negative prompt and hit generate. Okay, so these are the output results and here's the before and after and you guys can see there's no changing with the dress, only the model face, the location is changed, but the dress is exactly same. There is no changing with the dress. So this is the first image. This one is the second image. This one also looks really, really good. This is the third one and this is the last image. And just look at that, how realistic these images are and how accurate that dress is. And believe me, this is really hard to achieve with the tools like the stable diffusion. You have to go through from a lot of procedures to achieve these results. But in this case, this is only a matter of clicks. Now, let me show you a one more cool thing. So let's try another image. Let's do this one. And again, just make a selection of a dress only. Once done, just go to the templates and now select any pre-generated model. So let's say I'm gonna go with this model, this Chinese model, and just scroll down and select any location from here. So here we have a lot of pre-generated locations, so you don't have to type the prompt manually. So let's say I'm gonna go with the cross street and hit generate. So if you guys are regularly watching my videos, I have already covered a video on how you guys can put on any dress on your model. But that was not a reliable method because it changes dress a little bit. But in this one, it's more accurate. Okay, so these are the results. So this is the before and after and look at that. Just look at the dress, the quality of the image. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now let's say if you don't have any model, you only have the dress, then you can go with the mannequin option. So again, create a new task and upload the mannequin image. So uh, this is the image of a dress on a mannequin. So I will select this one. And again, follow the same process of making a selection of your dress and then go to the prompt section and type in your prompt like a beautiful model posing for a photo shoot and hit generate. So these are the output results and look at that. Here's a before and after. 
and there is something weird going on with the legs because of the transparency of the dress but if we look at overall the dress it looks really good so these are a couple of more examples and we don't have the full face in this image because of the less space in the source image but you get the idea right so you guys can try this AI tool for free and in the free plan you will get 400 credits that will generate around 40 images a month but if you guys are serious about this you can purchase a premium plan which is starting from $10 a month and you guys can generate around 300 images a month that is a great number so the link is in the description below go ahead and check that out and see you guys in the next one